If you're following Depp vs. Heard, I'm sure you know Johnny Depp has won the defamation case, and there's going to be some aftermath with Amber Heard supporters and stands, whatever you want to say, coming out in Amber's defense and being, well, triggered. Let's take a look at some tweets and their narrative that they'll be spinning and what they say has happened because Johnny won. This person here, Pixel That, says, I still stand with Amber Heard. This is only proof misogyny is still well and alive in America. The whole internet, no. The whole world was against Amber Heard. Misogynists use these tags. I stand with JD. Justice for JD and Amber T-word. I don't even like to say it. You know, I'll make the occasional joke. I think that's okay. But in general, when I'm being serious, I don't like to say it so much. But it is true. I mean, she physically did actually do something to earn that name. Anyway, the whole world was into finding out about evidence and the truth of the case. And when the whole world found out the truth and the evidence, well, obviously, they take the side that's supported by that evidence. So Pixelated That does not quite understand evidence and proof. Julia says, since all the headlines just want to say Johnny won, let me just remind everyone that while he won this libel case with a jury that was not sequestered and kept away from his smear campaign, he was found guilty of 12 cases of abuse against Amber in the UK case. Well, hold up, Julia. The smear campaign was what was promoting and putting out facts and evidence about Johnny. Fact number one, Amber Heard's a criminal. She's got a DUI. She committed perjury on multiple occasions. She broke California law by filming Johnny in his residence. That's criminal, illegal activity. That's a fact, not a smear. Also, those 12 cases of abuse against Amber in the UK case, well, that was just what she said and what her sister said. There was no actual evidence or proof to that. That was Amber Heard, maybe, my opinion, playing Monopoly and drinking hot chocolate with some lawyers and judges and whatever and getting the win in the UK. And we know a jury who has to vote unanimously is a lot better than what happened in the UK and Virginia was a very long trial. Julia also has boobs in her avatar. So, okay, I guess we both like that. Just gotta say. And this is from Dr. Jessica Taylor. Sunday Times best-selling author. She's got almost 100,000 followers on Twitter. Let's see what she says. I never ever want to see another live televised effing trial with paid comments and joke memes of a woman crying whilst she recalls sexual assault or domestic abuse for as long as I live. Let's make that happen. Well, here's the problem. First of all, she wasn't actually crying. No one saw tears. And her acting coach actually said that she has trouble faking tears when she acts. Second, she wasn't actually recalling an assault from reality. She was recalling that from her imagination. There was no proof, no evidence of any of it. Like Camille said, she sure liked to take pictures and videos, but it just so happens that none of that was of the abuse. And the good news for Jessica Taylor is you don't have to watch anything you don't want to watch. This person, Zing Zeng, Zeng, if I'm saying that right, says, the grotesque irony of all this is that after everything has happened, her original op-ed rings truer than ever. Right. So this is the big win that Amber's side think they have. Well, what happened with Johnny proves Amber's op-ed was correct. And you know what? There was some truth to that. That powerful men can manipulate things at certain times, but not in this case with Amber Heard. She was abusing a movement, exploiting a movement for her own benefit, and what has she said in her op-ed doesn't actually apply to her. That's the issue. Furthermore, when she said she faced the culture's wrath, well, the culture, like Disney and Warner Brothers, two of the biggest entertainment companies on the planet, if not the biggest, were on her side. Looks like the UK judge was on her side. Lots of the media was on her side. 
So she faced a lot of support, actually. Gotta say this tweet didn't quite hit the mark. An overeducated millennial woman says, to be clear, Amber sent the article to a defamation lawyer and this jury just ruled in favor of Depp despite the fact that she literally went out of her way to not be defamatory. She went out of her way not to show those bruises on the cover of People magazine, not to contact TNZ before she went to the courthouse with the bruises. She really tried really hard not to literally, as you put it, be defamatory. They are literally punishing her for daring to speak publicly. But the problem is, every time she speaks, it's a lie. I guess this person here isn't overeducated enough. I'd say I have an average education, but I'll use facts and evidence and logic. And Jonathan says, So the jury found that Heard was telling the truth when she said directly that Depp abused her, but that she defamed him by implying that he abused her. Do I have that right? I don't know. It's kind of confusing. I don't think it's right. I think that is one hell of a freaking implication. So you're married to Johnny Depp, one of the biggest stars in the world, and you go out in the media, in public, with bruises on your face, and you say that you're a victim of domestic abuse. What are people supposed to think? Who are we supposed to think did it? There was no alternative offered by her. If she said, well, it could have been him, him, or him, maybe. Okay, I guess that would make it better. But obviously, Johnny was the only person who that could have been implied about. So it's not necessarily simply an implication. It's a mathematical process of elimination down to the only person it could have been. So Jonathan, got to disagree. Not the best take. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. A lot of people might be thinking, well, what happens now that Johnny won? Well, here's what happens. We're going to face an avalanche of people supporting Amber Heard who are spinning all kind of different narratives now. One of those being that Johnny hurt real victims, which he didn't because he had the evidence and facts on his side. Another narrative will be that Amber Heard was right because the op-ed shows that she was right. And I'll be here to call it out. Consider subscribing. If you don't, I'll be pretty sad about it. But I'll get over it, make a new video, something like that. Done here for now. See you next time.